Mr. Chair, I'm gonna have a bit of a voice problem here, but um, Senator Limmer, I think um, I, I think you do mean well by this bill, and um, I, I do have an objection to using the HAVA money the way that you're that you're using it here. And for people that don't know this, <clears throat> we have, and I might not be able to say it, but we have several safeguards in our law already um, and in our system in Minnesota, many more safeguards than most states have. And I'm just gonna quickly go through those safeguards. Voter registration, registration oath, verification of newly registered voters, statewide voter database, postal verification, Minnesota Department of Corrections data, election day oath, transparency on election day, post-election review of voters, transparency after election day, and investigations by county attorneys. This covers just about every possible um, eventuality we could have with people um, um, falsely voting. Your bill doesn't prevent anybody from falsifying just another document if they really want to, um, if they really want to fraudulently vote they can still fraudulently vote. They can still get a birth certificate. Um, even our election judge said she got a birth certificate and didn't need much of anything to get that. <clears throat> it isn't gonna make it, there's a, it, no matter what kind of a system you put together, there's gonna be ways to get around it. And what you're doing here, I've got probably 10 senior facilities in my district, a lot of people that can't get out and can't um, get out to get their pictures taken or get out to uh, uh, get a, a voter ID. And we're eliminating those people. What we're also doing here is we're eliminating those students that um, may have changed out of their dorm into an apartment um, a few weeks or a week or so before election. We're saying you can't come in on election day and have somebody verify, verify that uh, your address or uh, you you wouldn't have a utility bill or anything anyway so you can't you, you can't have somebody come in and verify you we're restricting it no matter how you look at it we are restricting voting and if somebody moves close to the election they have to get another card it's just ongoing if somebody um, uh, we have a 30% turnover rate in um, one of our schools because we have low income housing there and people have to move constantly to keep trying to find housing they can afford. Those people would have to constantly keep getting new voter um, uh, identification cards. That is an imposition. It's, it's making it more difficult when I think we already have plenty of ways of verifying our voting. And, and North Dakota, by the way, folks, doesn't even have voter registration. They don't even have voter registration at all. We have voter registration and we have all these other safeguards. So I think we're very well protected in the state. Senator.